everyone a very good day to all of you welcome back to teacher irene's english for communication form 3 class so as for today we are going to continue with our previous lesson which is from unit 3 places we live let us look together okay as you can see our learning okay activity today is about reading okay we are going to practice reading this text and this text is about the traditional iban long house okay the traditional iban long house so have you seen a long house before okay in bahasa we call long house as rumah panjang so it's a very famous traditional house in Sarawak. okay so let us practice reading together this is the traditional houses of the Ibans in Sarawak. Commonly, this traditional house is built of timber and the roof is made of leaf thatch. Each longhouse usually has many family rooms. Commonly, there are more than one family living in one longhouse. Long houses are built off the ground on stilts. All long houses have roofs, doors, windows, veranda, roof, and open areas. So, based on this text, kamu lihat ini petikan berkaitan dengan uh, rumah panjang di Sarawak. Dia kata rumah panjang ini, okay, dibuat daripada kayu dan Umbungnya dibuat daripada leaf thatch tu dia macam atap ya atap atau jerami yang disusun. Kalau kamu lihat di sini ini yang dikenali sebagai thatch roof. Okay, so dia kata setiap rumah ini ada banyak bilik. Jadi rumah panjang ni dia ada banyak keluarga yang tinggal dalam satu rumah panjang dan dia ada banyak bilik. So as you can see, this is the parts of the house where you can see this is the thatch roof, this is the window. This is the door, ialah pintu. Dan dia kata, long houses are built of the ground on stilts. Ha, apa tu stilts? Okay. Inilah yang dikenali sebagai stilts. Ni, kayu yang panjang ni, eh, di bawah ni. So, ini yang dikenali sebagai stilts. Okay. So, dia kata, all long houses have roofs. Ha, roofs. Okay, kemudian doors, windows, veranda, rooms and open areas. Ah biasanya ini ialah veranda. Maksudnya anjung nampak tadi kawasan lapang dekat luar ni, ah ni, de ni depan ni dipanggil veranda. Kalau rumah-rumah ah, lama rumah-rumah tradisional pun ada dia macam anjung kan? Ah dia open. Okey, open areas maksudnya ruang terbuka. So ini adalah part of the house of the traditional Iban long house. Okay, next we are going to look at this traditional Negeri Sembilan Malay house. Okay, traditional Negeri Sembilan Malay house where you can see, okay, let us read together. This is the traditional Negeri Sembilan Malay house. It has a long and curved shaped roof with both ends of the roof pointing slightly upwards. Some houses and the roofs are made of wood. Commonly, this traditional house has roofs, doors, windows, veranda, rooms, and carving on the walls. The traditional Negeri Sembilan Malay house is built on wooden stilts. So, it's lebih kurang sama kalau kamu lihat part of the house here. Okay, dikatakan rumah traditional Negeri Sembilan ini, okay, dia ada long and curved shaped roof. Maksudnya, dia ada bumbung yang panjang dan curve. Ha, ini maksudnya curve, maksudnya melengkung. Curve maksudnya melengkung. Nampak dia ada kalau bumbung yang melengkung. Roof ialah bumbung ya. So curve shape roof ini dia. Curve shape nampak dia ada melengkung. Okey. Kemudian end of roof pointing slightly upwards. Maksudnya dekat bahu hujung ni, ini maksudnya hujung dia akan uh, macam pointing upwards maksudnya tunjuk 
ke atas di dat- tajam bagian atas ni lah nampak dia melengkung ke atas so dia melengkung ke atas tu maksudnya Ru pointing slightly upwards okay? Slightly tu maksudnya lebih kurang Nampak dia melengkung ke atas okay. Some houses and the roofs are made of wood okay, Rumah ni Some dibuat daripada Kayu Dia kata commonly this traditional house has roof okay? Macam biasa rumah ini ada Bumbung, doors So this is the door okay? Kemudian this is the roof tadi Ialah curved roofs okay? Kemudian dia ada windows okay? Windows ialah tingkap Veranda, okay, veranda ialah anjung Kebanyakan tadi cikgu kata rumah dari Cina ada anjung okay. Kemudian rooms and carving on the walls Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan carving? Carving ini maksudnya ukiran okay, Ukiran okay, Kemudian dikatakan The traditional negeri sembilan Malay house is built on wooden steels Jadi kalau kamu perhatikan Setiap rumah tradisional ni Dia 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 dibina di ada steels Maksudnya dia ada tiang ni Steel ni ialah tiang nampak rumah dia tak macam sekarang kita rumah kita rumah batu terus di, di lantai kan tapi ini dia ada naik atas sikit okay. ni yang dikenali sebagai steel okay. so untuk latihan kamu dikehendaki untuk menjawab exercise 1 dikatakan which house has many family rooms jadi kamu dah baca petikan tadi kamu jawab soalan 1 dan soalan kedua dikatakan which house has a long and curve shape roof okay curve shape roof tadi ah ini kamu lihat jadi kamu jawab soalan satu dan soalan yang kedua ini untuk exercise 1 so for this second exercise okay you have to label the parts of the houses correctly traditional negeri sembilan Malay house okay you have to la- label this and also the traditional iban long house okay label the parts okay for this exercise you just need to drag the answer to the correct column, column yeah you just drag maksudnya nanti you will do this exercise online okay through the online exercise that's all okay for today's lesson before i end Okay, I want to show you this is the example of the traditional Iban long house. Ha, ialah contoh rumah Iban dan inilah pakaian tradisional orang Iban kamu boleh lihat. Ah ni gambar dia. Dan kalau kamu nak lihat dalam rumah rumah panjang ini atau long house ini kamu boleh lihat inilah gambaran dia rumah ni. Okay, ini ialah yang tradisional. Satu lagi untuk negeri Sembilan. Okay, this is negeri Sembilan Malay house. You can see Inilah rumah tradisional negeri sembilan ya. Kalau kamu lihat pakaian tradisional negeri sembilan pun ya Kepala dia nampak di sini Dia pakai ini pun Dia sama macam bentuk rumah ha, Negeri sembilan ni sebenarnya Terkenal dengan adat Minangkabau So you can see the, the shape of the house The curve ni, ni nampak ni lebih kurang sama ha, This is a very famous place in negeri sembilan okay, Ialah Museum Sri Menanti Di okay, is Dekat Sri Menanti lah tempat, salah satu tempat di Negeri Sembilan. Dulu di ini ialah istana ya, istana Sri Menanti. Tapi sekarang dah dijadikan museum. Jadi kalau kamu lihat, bentuk-bentuk dia semua melengkung-melengkung macam ni. Okay, so that's all for today's English lesson. That's all. Hope to see you again. Okay, don't forget to stay healthy and helpful and calm. Bye-bye. Don't forget to complete your task Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.